Let's come over here to R1 and let's go ahead and set up our BGP peering. We're gonna just peer to the physical IP address on the interface. So the physical IP address on R2, let's take a look at his interface, is 192.168.45.2. Now based on our topology, he is in AS65102 and we are 65101 on router one. So, okay, so now we've got our neighbor statement there. Take our address for router one, come over here to router two, put in our neighbor statement. He is in remote AS65101. And now before you start to think that this is gonna establish a neighbor adjacency, we have that issue of an eBGP connection and the fact that we are more than one hop away. So we're gonna say that that's okay with a neighbor statement that says that we can do a multi-hop establishment. So now notice our BGP neighbor came up. We come over here to router two, we can see the BGP neighbor came up. Let's look at our ASA here. First of all, we'll look at a show connection. We have a TCP connection on the outside interface from 172.16.10.1, port 179 to the inside, 192.168.45.2. So that tells me that this was established from the inside to the outside. This is the response showing me the reply uh, ability that we have on the outside interface. We can have a packet sourced on port 179 coming back into that dynamic port 37421 on the inside because we had an initial outbound connection. So we do have a connection here that looks good and if I come over here to router 2 show IP BGP neighbor will show me that I do have a neighbor adjacency and that the state is established.